What is going on everyone? Platinum Beast coming at you with yet another video today. Today we're going to be talking about Palladium because Palladium closed this week in a sort of somewhat historic way. So with all that being said, let's get into it. All right, everybody, so Palladium, right? Palladium closed in a very historic way this week, okay? And we're gonna talk about it because it's interesting. I find it interesting and you probably do as well. So for this week's closing, we saw Palladium for the first time in a very long time close below $1,000 an ounce spot price, right? We, uh, We've seen this in the past, but there's a key difference here, okay? And that is Platinum. Platinum closed above a $1,000 an ounce spot price and a decent amount above it, if I do say so. But what's interesting is Palladium closing below and Platinum closing above, I personally, in my own opinion, think that's a key sign in what is yet to come. So is this the end of Palladium as far as being the king and the top dog? I think it very well could be. And we could just see a further and further gap. Now this is what we have been thinking about lately is when will it finally break apart from one another? I made a video recently talking about how it was a all out war basically with palladium and platinum being that they were going head to head a dollar here a dollar there and they were really like neck and neck they were right next to each other and it seemed almost like there was trying to make a last push to flip the two metals before ultimately breaking apart and one going way down and one going way up now we very well could be in that situation right now when it pertains to platinum and it being used instead of palladium. So what does that mean? I think the price of platinum may very well continue to just rise, right? A lot of people thought there was going to be a point where palladium would no longer rise and it proved everyone wrong not too long ago and just continued to climb to the top of Mount Everest essentially. And we very well could see the same thing happen with platinum, right? A lot of people, there'll be a lot of naysayers at 1500. There'll be a lot of naysayers at 2000. And at some point people will just give up and say, what in the world? <laughs> I never thought this would occur with this metal. So with that being said, you don't want to be missing out when it comes to platinum. You want to get yourself some if you can. Prices are still relatively reasonable. One tenth ounce coins can be found below 150, which is 1500 an ounce. Quarter ounce platinums are below 1500 an ounce, half ounces, and full ounces are even less, right? So if you're able to pony up the cash to buy a full ounce of platinum, then I say go for it, right? What do you got to lose? It's still very, very low priced. It's one of the lowest priced precious metals thus far. Palladium is now outdoing it as it pertains to its rarity. However, because a lot of people think that industry and, and the use case scenario for both of those metals, platinum and palladium, have swapped with one another, we could see palladium find its new bottom. Now, where that bottom is, I have no idea. Luckily, in the palladium sphere, if you take a look, you'll see more and more manufacturers are starting to manufacture palladium. We got Valcambi making bars. We got Argor Horaeus making bars. We got, you know, PAMP has made bars for a while on palladium. It's not been their top priority, but they've made bars for a while. And so the bar manufacturers are starting to pick up on the idea that palladium investor demand could increase. Even if the price decreases, 
that could increase the demand from the investment side because people see it as a good value buy, right? And palladium is slowly over time making its name as a money metal, right? A lot of people don't like to think of platinum as being a money metal, but I disagree with those people, right? And I think more and more every day, more people are waking up to the idea that this is actually a money metal. It's not just gold and silver anymore. Platinum has joined the party and it's here to stay. And if you're one of those people, awesome. <laughs> you are joining the masses. Now, another reason why platinum and palladium are starting to be seen more and more as money metals is the price of gold is just reaching unobtainable levels, right? I forget who it was. I believe it was Silver Heist made a video recently talking about gold and how one ounce gold eagles have slowly started to fall out of demand for fractional gold eagles. The U.S. Mint is selling more and more fractional gold eagles and bullion dealers are selling more and more fractional gold eagles versus their one ounce eagle counterparts compared to the sales of just a few years ago, right? So people are buying more and more fractional gold, but they're gonna get sick and tired of the premium and they're gonna try probably to look at something else, right? When you get into the world of fractional gold, premiums go up. A big complaint on the platinum side of things has always been the premiums. The premiums on platinum is always higher than gold and silver. That has a lot to do with how many coins and bars are minted. That has a lot to do with how much investor demand is out there, right? With silver, you can get it dang near spot, you know, for generic rounds, a kilo, 10 ounce bars, all that kind of stuff. There's deals to be found very close to spot or within like a dollar or so. So just a few few percentage points over spot for generic silver. But that's not the case with platinum. You almost never find platinum at a reasonable premium. And when you do, it's it's rare and, and, and infrequent. So that kind of says to me, that people will more and more start looking at platinum as a money metal. And with that, palladium will eventually make its way to that point as well. It just takes some time. But more and more people are starting to stack. We're seeing that's the case based upon, you know, Walmart and Costco selling gold and silver. That's just unheard of stuff, y'all. Like, usually Costco is all about consumer products, right? TVs, couches, you know, food outdoor stuff, holiday stuff, whatever. People go there and they spend their money because they find good deals on things. But the fact that these retailers are actually starting to add precious metals to what's being offered, that to me just says investor demand is going up and up and up. And we're gonna slowly see more and more people starting to stack. Now, inflation and the economy has a lot to do with that as well. People are starting to really, 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 really lose faith in the value of the dollar. So that's going to increase demand as well. But when people get shell-shocked, or, or, or what, whatever the phrase is, to the price of gold, they're going to say, oh man, I can't even afford gold. What am I to do? Well, they could get into silver, which a lot of people do but they also could consider platinum, depending on where their finances are and what's in their budget, right? There's low income, there's middle income, and there's high income Americans and citizens of the world, really. There's many different countries where there's low, middle, and high incomes. And so in the stacking world, there's low, silver, there's middle, platinum, and there's high, gold. So platinum really kind of fulfills a niche, right? That's kind of needed in my opinion. And palladium closing below $1,000 an ounce while platinum still holds strong, I think is making the case that platinum is going to be that metal that a lot of people sort of flock to in the near future. That's personally what I think. And I don't think it's going to be palladium. And I think palladium is going to reach its bottom at some point. You know, so rest in peace, palladium. It was a good run while we had it, but... You know, who knows what the future holds. Now, all of this said, I could be completely wrong and palladium could just shoot back up. So if you have a nice healthy stack of platinum and you want to get some palladium, I'm not saying don't go buy it because it's just going to go down. It could, but it could not, right? Everything I say on my channel 
should be just taken as my own personal opinion that I'm sharing with y'all, but I love sharing it with y'all, so I'm going to keep doing it. But with all that being said, I appreciate y'all stopping by and checking out the video today. Let me know what your thoughts are on Palladium. Is this the end? Is this the mark of the end closing below $1,000 an ounce? Let me know that down below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with future videos I put out. And thanks y'all for watching. So with all that being said, until next time, we'll see y'all.